So I'm just leaving Guatemala and uh, we're crossing into El Salvador and as you can see um, it's a long long line of trucks um, coming from El Salvador and going into Guatemala. I am told the guy on the bike in front of me is my uh, my helper and uh, he's been awesome. While I was having lunch, he was getting all my papers uh, done for uh, my exit papers for uh, Guatemala and um, he was telling me this is a good day and I had read this online. Um, this line of truckers would be both ways and sometimes you wait for four days. Uh, I've read online uh, a wait for four or five hours at the border is not unusual here and I'm just... I'm just driving through. I am a very lucky girl. So Jorge, uh, George, uh, speaks perfect English, spent 15 years in the States, and um, he's been awesome. I am going to give him, he wanted 300 quetzales, and <laughs> I talked, to, I, I wanted, in my head, I always follow my instinct, I said 100, and he said yes, so, and I feel good about that because he's, uh, He's making it uh, really painless. I'm also going to look into um, renewing my visa uh, that expires in uh, two weeks. So oh, he's telling me to park over here. And we'll see if we can do it here, even though all the literature says that the only way to do that is to go into an office in San Salvador. Okay. Everybody's so helpful. Everybody wants to help. Are you alone? Do you need help? <laughs> Forgot to mention, I'm at the uh, La Hachadura uh, border crossing, and this is the uh, Salvadorian side. So, no biggie. And uh, I'm waiting for uh, George to do my papers for my vehicle. And then we're going to go to immigration to see if I can extend my own visa. I'm in the air-conditioned um, office and you can see uh, George with his uh, Tramitador uh, jacket showing that he's an official helper. <laughs> Okay, so I got a 60 days, um, <laughs> 60 days uh, vehicle permit for El Salvador. Uh, the immigration officer came in and <laughs> for the inside inspection and all he did was admire. I guess they don't see a lot of RVs here. Um, it was like, wow, it's like a house and just was looking around. Uh, not even opening cupboards or anything, just being wowed by a house on wheels. So very nice, very pleasant, and uh, he was uh, impressed, and, and that was the end of the inspection. So driving down the hall to immigration to see if we can extend my C4 visa that gives you 90 days for four countries, Guatemala, El Salvador, Honduras, and Nicaragua. I stayed almost three months in uh, Guatemala alone. So unless I exit Nicaragua before the 17th of May, which is not going to happen, um, I need to renew my visa. So that's what we're trying to do here. I don't know if we can. Okay, so now we're... Uh, filling out the papers for the cat and the dog and depending on who is um, working today I might not even have to pay anything or maybe $25 um, dollars per pet and they might want to see the pets or not so let's cross our fingers and make it easy breezy
we got the go ahead, we're okay, no, no fee, no inspection. Yay! You're in the shade, I want to see ya. Say hi. Yeah. <laughs> hi everybody, we got all the paperwork done. <laughs> Ready to exit. Ready to exit. Awesome, thank you. I'm in El Salvador, that was the easiest crossing ever. Bye guys.